from awesome ambiance to crime scene invertebrates, here are 13 of the scariest insect carnivores. 13. American Carrion Beetles This insect belongs to a family comprised of around 200 species. As its name suggests, the beetle has an affinity primarily for the flesh of dead animals. Eggs are laid in the raw flesh and the larvae feed on the decaying meat. Both the adults and larvae will also consume the larvae of other carrion beetles that compete for similar food sources. Now, In fact, adults will continue to consume their competitors until their larvae has had a chance to eat their fill and grow. Native to North America, they can be found from Florida to southeastern Canada. 12. Sea Fleas So, some truth in disclosure here. The creatures in this segment are not actually insects. However, they are marine arthropods, and as arthropods, they are related to insects, so we're going to include them on that technicality, and considering the fact that these critters are so unusual. Now, the common name for these animals is sea fleas, but the more officially classified as lysianacid amphipods. Those are tiny scavenging crustaceans that are attracted to chemicals found within decaying meat. The minuscule creatures came to the forefront when an Australian teenager emerged from wading in the waters of Brighton Beach in Victoria, and that's when he and his parents realized that his legs and feet were a bloody mess, literally. A massive amount of bleeding was caused by what appeared to be thousands of pinpricks in the skin but were in fact caused by the painful bites of these sea fleas, which measure about 2 millimeters long. But experts say it was an isolated occurrence and the teenager did make a full recovery. 11. Meat Ant now, as its name implies, this insect can be carnivorous, even though they are technically omnivores. They're one of the best-known ant species in Australia, and they can be found throughout nearly every state and territory of the country, except for Tasmania. Now, thanks to that wide distribution, along with its aggression, it is recognized as a dominant species. Its name is inspired by its behavior of stripping the meat off of dead vertebrates. Now, that is actually a way that the insects can help farmers by removing the carcasses from the land in a matter of weeks. Meat ants are known for building large oval mound-like nests that can reach more than six and a half feet in diameter. And single colonies have been documented to contain 85 nests that occupied more than 25 acres of land. Did you know experts say meat ants might help in areas of pest control in Oz? And that's because they appear to be immune to the toxins of the cane toad. So the insects could be instrumental in helping to kill that invasive species. 10. Flesh Flies now, These opportunistic insects will deposit their hatching maggots on dead animal bodies or in the open wounds of mammals, among other locations, hence the inspiration for their common name. Adults mainly consume the fluids of animal bodies, while juveniles obtain protein from decaying meat, sweet plant foods, or from dung. While this process works well for the insects, it can prove to be debilitating for anyone who happens to eat the larvae, because flesh flies can carry the leprosy bacillus and also infest the bodies of mammals with fly larvae that will grow inside of the host while feeding off of its tissue. 9. Giant Katydids in 2017, researchers in the forests of Madagascar discovered several new species of giant insects, and they were identified as katydids. And going more than two and a half inches long, experts say they are among the bulkiest and largest insects in the world. And they are also some of the most aggressive katydids ever encountered, a trait that is considered unusual for these animals. With their powerful forelegs, the insects will attempt to grab onto anything that gets too close for comfort, and that includes human fingers. Now, if they grab you, they'll try to deliver a nasty bite. Experts say that these carnivorous critters have an ample food supply in the form of cockroaches that populate the area, but for whatever reason, the two species seem to have formed a type of non-aggression pact with one another. 8. Only in Oz now, if you've heard of jack jumper ants or bull ants, those critters belong to the genus of Mimesia, which comprises more than 90 species and are found throughout Australia. They're known for having some wicked mandibles and for growing to impressive sizes, upwards of one and a half inches or more. They're also known for having a potent sting, regarded as one of the most toxic found in the insect world. Now, chances are if a human falls prey to these animals, it'll be the result of an allergic reaction to the venom, not from being eaten alive. And that's because ants in this genus tend to be omnivore, at least the adults are. But they don't start off that way. Larvae are pure carnivores that feed off of captured prey. And as they mature, they tend to favor substances that are more sweet, but they can still dine on animal material here and there. 
7. Hide beetles. There are around 300 species contained in this insect family, and they're known for the warty appearance, and they can be found worldwide. They feed off of carrion, and are typically the last creatures to arrive to feed off of animal carcasses. In addition to consuming the skin, adults and larvae can also feast on the fur and feathers of the carcass. Now, it's not unusual to find them in the nests of birds and mammals, and thanks to the appetite for meat, these critters have often been used by museums to clear off dried material from skeletons to make them suitable for display. And many such institutions consider this method of bone stripping to be the most effective. Now, in addition, these insects are sometimes used in matters of forensics when they're found on human corpses. Since they consume human flesh post-mortem, the beetles can help forensics experts in calculating the time of death. 6. Botfly While there are around 150 species of botfly, we're going to focus on the human botfly, which is the only species known to regularly go after humans. Found in Central and South America, these critters will lay the eggs on mosquitoes, ticks, or any other insect that has a proclivity to land on a human being. Now, once that carrier lands, the larvae are left on the skin, where the host's body heat will hatch them, often right upon contact. The larvae will burrow under the skin, living and eating there for around eight weeks. Now, after that, they will disengage from the host and eventually develop into adults, which resemble bumblebees. 5. Armions those critters would have been New World Armions found in the Amazon jungle and in Central America, as opposed to the species found in Africa. They are recognized as omnivores, so they sure aren't vegetarians necessarily, but could they really strip the meat off of a human's bones like it's sometimes depicted in the movies? Well, of course, in that medium, a lot of dramatic license is taken, but the ants could kill a human being. They wouldn't necessarily eat them alive, though. More likely, the ants would work their way into the victim's lungs and cause them to suffocate before tearing through that lung tissue. But to work their way into a person's airways, that victim would have to already be somehow incapacitated, like being unconscious. So maybe not as graphic as they show in the movies, but I have to admit, still a pretty gruesome way to go. 4. Crime Scene Insects Did you know that around 1,100 species of blowflies are known to exist? They can be referred to by a variety of names, including carrion flies. Now, most species tend to be scavengers of carrier or dung and account for the majority of maggots found in such locations. Now, these critters have the ability to smell the flesh of dead animals from up to a mile away. Now, that enables them to be the first insects to come into contact with carrion, whereupon the females deposit the eggs. Now, it's the talent for eating dead flesh that has caused the insects to become a popular tool in forensic science, not unlike the hide beetle which was previously mentioned. Determining time of death is usually considered unreliable past 72 hours, so entomologists or experts on insects can help crime scene investigators determine a more accurate time interval by studying the flies. 3. Insidious Insect Named for its metallic greenish-blue body coloration, the jewel wasp is found mostly in the Pacific Islands, South Asia, and in Africa. Now, this insect is unique for its unorthodox reproductive behavior, which uses cockroaches not only as a breeding ground, but as a feeding ground as well. The wasp will inject its venom directly into the brain of its roach victim, which turns it into a type of zombie, and then the wasp will pull its antenna like a leash, leading it into the burrow. Now once there, an egg is laid on the roach's abdomen where it hatches, and the larvae eats its way into the body of the host. After about eight days, a cocoon is formed, and the adult wasp later emerges from the corpse of the cockroach. 2. Vulture Bees now, these insects are the only bees yet known that do not rely on plant products like pollen or nectar for sustenance. Instead, they exhibit some maggot-like behavior and some vulture-like behavior, which is where they get the name. And this behavior involves consuming the rotten flesh of dead animals. The bee stores that flesh in a special pouch, then transports it to the hive, where it is regurgitated and processed into an edible honey-like material. 1. Praying Mantis These carnivorous creatures belong to an order that comprises more than 2,400 species worldwide, and they represent the largest family they're in, known as Mantids. They're easily recognized by their triangular heads, bulging eyes, and long forelimbs held in the position that inspires their common name. 
They're known as ambush predators, and they favor eating arthropods, which include grasshoppers and spiders as well. Now, because the mantids do eat insects that can be pests, many farmers actually welcome the creature's presence. Larger specimens will catch and devour lizards, frogs, and even small birds. But no matter what the prey is, it's always eaten head first. And that feeding practice is linked to a gruesome mating ritual practiced by these insects. And you know which one that is, right? The one where the female bites the head off of a mate and then proceeds to consume him. So, not much left to say after that one, is there?